Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to modify the checkout form within high level and get the settings that you want to happen there. So let's dive right in. Let's move my head down here. I'm here in sites and funnels. You could also be on a, a website too, but here we go. And I'm going to go to uh, this test funnel that we um, already have, and I'm just going to edit this page. Um, and while that's loading up, I'm going to make my head just a little bit smaller. Uh, and here, let's move it. Uh, in fact, let's move it. So we're going to be moving it around a bit, I think. Okay, you can see in this test funnel, we've got a few different things. Um, but here we have a two-step order form. Um, and uh, how did we how did we get this? So let me just delete uh, this. I'm just going to click Add an Element, and then I'm going to come here, uh, and it's all the way down at the bottom. Two-step order form. Now we could also let's go and add another one. We uh, um, we've got the two-step two order there. Um, the order confirmation is also a really, really cool one that we can add in as well. So you can see all the different things um, that, you've, that you've got here. Um, but one of, the, one of the really cool elements is the order confirmation because it will summarize, particularly if they're going to have a number of different products. It's just um, obviously we're not going to put this on, we're going to put this on the thank you page, but it will dynamically get all the products that they've got there put all of that stuff in. So this would be on the next page, not on this page. I'm just going to drop that here now as well. Now, we've got a two-step order form. How do we customize this? Well, actually, um, most of what you need is on the advanced tab here. So if you can't see that stuff, you've got to come and like mouse over, get this orange box here, click in it. So we've got that selected. And now we're going to hit advanced. And this is where we can see the step one. And this is where we can see the step two. So we've got this. Um, over here now th this says shipping but often we're not going to even be um, shipping so you can change this to something like uh, your info uh, and if you don't even want that subheadline you can just you know where it says where should we ship it you can just delete it or you or you can put you know um, your uh, details here something like that now you might not want their company name so we just hide that look there we go now look shipping address particularly if this is a digital product um, we're not we might not want that so let's just turn turn that off there we go it's become much smaller now we're basically we're just getting their name email address and phone number now let's go and look at at step two um, here this one says um, your um, info so maybe we'll change that to something like confirmation we're not going to upgrade your order and save here um, so we're going to put um, order details um, there we go um, and this one is uh, edit your info so they can basically go back now this bit um, frustrates me here there's a item and amount um, that don't have capitals so uh, I find that a bit frustrating when everything else does so I like to come in here and just do that um, so then they complete the order and boom that's how uh, that's how they how they do it if you've got an order bump you would enable that and you would need to have um, some products added I haven't got any products added so that bit's not gonna work but that's where we do that if you need the uh, enable posting code or anything like that that's down here if you're using sticky contacts so it's to carry stuff forward particularly if you've passed info on um, you can do all of that um, so this is where you can then um, do that now um, order confirmation um, again remember this will be on your thank you page uh, and how do we get our thank you page because we sales action what do we want when they complete this go to the next step so this would be on the next step but you could have different steps or URLs where do you want them to go when they hit this button and it works for you know it works so here again you know we can we can come to advance now do you remember that we didn't have shipping details so we don't want to show shipping details so we're going to hide that for example um, it, that would be um, there so you can customize this uh, this a bit as well and put that on that page now obviously don't forget to save it now once this is um, also because what we haven't done is you know the actual products that you're that you're going to have here so I'm just going to come back to the uh, to the funnel here we're going to let that load up we're going to see the different funnel steps um, that we've that we've got here and then I'm just going to move my head over because I'm going to go to products here and this is where we're going to edit. We're going to have our products because we need to have uh, we need to have a product um, in here in order for this to work. So if you don't have products, then you're going to come in here. You, you're going to add products, and you, the, so this is where you add your products. So if you're not seeing anything for people to buy, 
um, when you're in the actual funnel step is because you've got the additive products here and you don't just add them in the funnel let's say you've got multiple multiple um, steps here you've got to add the products specifically on the step that they're going to be checking them out so if you've got a few other steps here and a few other steps here you've got to come to the actual page and add the products here this is something that people miss they've added them to a different step and then wonder why they're not here and then you can test this once it's all done um, don't forget you can test it you can come to settings um, and um, in settings here assuming you've got stripe connected now i don't have um, stripe connected here there is uh, i can't remember which side it's on it's either on this side or this side there is one saying uh, go into test mode or live and uh, you can toggle that on put it in test mode um, and then um, you'll be able to put use uh, a credit card that is four and then just keep going ones until it fills it out however many it is then you need to use it's going to give you a uh, expiry date so you need to use something in the future uh, and then a, a, any old um, CVV CVC number um, you can put but you've got to have it won't work if this isn't a future date and the number four at the beginning then just fill the whole credit card with 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 ones um, and um, you can use that for a test card when you're on test mode and now don't forget once you've tested it once it all works revert back from test mode and put it live um, otherwise you're not going to get any sales um, so that is how um, you can modify the details modify uh, uh, everything you need for that checkout form for your two-step checkout now if this is useful please smash that like button drop a comment share this um, that would be awesome and if you're not part of the profit pack then head over here the profit pack don't forget the word the the profit pack we are giving you free there are no this is all free no scams no upsells no tricks all free so if you're not on high level come grab this if you want to build and scale your own SaaS business if you're on high level and thinking upgrading come grab this either way come and get in our free facebook group we've got free training um uh, scroll through here this is the most comprehensive training uh, courses support um that you will get on the planet to build and scale your own SaaS business it's all for free we give it away um to to you guys so come grab it we would love to have you as part of this Thank you for watching and as always, have an awesome day.